The sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys will know better than ask us next time, huh? Hmm. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Yeah. What's up? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Cool. Ring ring. Progresso. Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue our adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you were going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Click. Yeah, right. So that's, I guess that's what the rest of the chapters are about, me, me and, uh, I can't believe I already fucking forgot her name. <laughs> ball of junk? Ball of junk, small ball of accumulated things. It smells like scratch, sniff, marshmallow stickers. How the fuck, Susie, god damn it. Me and Susie going on fucking adventures, I guess. Library, what's it? oh, this nerd. Chris, you survived Susie? I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assassin. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to you. A mere 6423. Consider it, Chris. How much money do I have? Two bucks? Chris, stop. God, he's working, so I'm starting on a project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. The same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. <laughs> Gotta go to college. So Tim study art. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. Understandable. There's an anime review. Read it. No, 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 no. Yes. Teen's Corner Monthly Tune Teen Review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. And let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention, Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than ramen I eat at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous Yellow Lizard. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Can, can I? I love books. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Computer lab, please serve the papers. Yeah. For those of you unaware, this 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 is Toby, Toby Fox, creator of the game. I'm sure most people know that by now, but for those who are unaware, in all of Toby's games, he's usually re he represents himself as a dog. Which you know, whatever, teach their own. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, if all the Alvin employ you, if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. No, I understand. I hope to talk you find the words you seek. Let the angel's power light your way. Don't touch me, dude. Town hall. Hey, sure stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Must have frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. Well, she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. Hey, that's politics. Rarely. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor's busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Well, oh, okay. Very direct. Well, let's turn this way. Where am I going? 
I'm gonna save that for later. I'm gonna save that for later. I'm gonna save that for later. Well, it's over this way. Some kind of pet cemetery. Gearson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Oh, it's people. Crystal, a snow gem, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Okay, so it's a cemetery. What's up, Undyne? Hey, punk, get out of the road. Blocking traffic. Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh. Just wish some. Oh, Jesus. Something would shake things up. <laughs> you got something to report. Uh, Deb, 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 Alphys. Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking about. Why? Did they do something illegal? <laughs> gotcha. If I see Alphys, I'll tackle him. <laughs> They're as good as dead. Help you? Huh. <laughs> you wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. <laughs> oh, Undyne. Don't change. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. That seems like a very bad idea when Undyne's- Oh my god, hello. Oh, Joe. You're gonna fly the ground over there, hmm? The patients can't hear it well but I personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory, ob obligatory, there we go, hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Blink. And it's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's office. The beads march grimly along their set path. It's a diagram drawing a bunch of lines in a circle. <laughs> Dad, I can't just say that to him. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. No, well, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother. I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. Really? Yeah. She slapped me so hard it blacked out. Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, I was dragging a Blazers 3. Beat it yet? Right here. Bart is hell. <laughs> Bye. You win. I'll bring you next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Norbley? It's, um, Bird He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. Throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Oh, so you're serious to sink, huh? Come on, Chris. Bail up, friendly. No jingle, my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. Alright, Chris. Just give it a straight shot. I hear it. Did you want to make me come here? No? Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. Proud of you. It wasn't too long ago, you were just the creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. Wanna chat or something? How's Noelle doing? She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart kid. Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. When it happens, she bursts like a deer in headlights. Remember, she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Now what's going on with me? Just that. In the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Hey. No worries, there's no way you can bore me right now. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. 
After all, it has to go call its bell, right? Oh, hey, now that Azrael's off the go. You think he's doing it at crazy parties like me and your dad? <laughs> I'm just pulling your life. Your dad was new party. Your mother, on the other hand. Woo! You know what's fuss about to go in, but once the party started, yikes, man. Watch you hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie. I got smashed in the snack table, toppled it. Tasty pie, though. Good play. So, why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here, Jeff, and then I can go back to you. I don't know. Y'all get you for getting tangled in our light display. <laughs> it's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, happy your dad brought me flowers, but roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? I know you gotta work, man. We're both beasts. Patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, forget my name or something. Okay, who's in here? <laughs> this, castle's, this castle's white wizards relegated me to this. Oh no, this is the guy talking. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. Who the fuck are you? It's class 1 to 10 pain scale using Ice E as a model. At zero pain, he's happy. At ten pain, he's happy and sweating. <laughs> you looked inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. And it's a regular sink. It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one telesink that was cut in half to create both of them. Alright. Police? Knock on the door at the police station. Coming to the window. They just closed the blinds. <laughs> How rude. The police tape is blocking the way. The tape simply reads. Okay, strange. That's where we came from. Let's go up. What's up? Hey, it's the boys. <laughs> So apparently this used to read something that just says <laughs> Sans my dude, long time no see. Hey, Luke is walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. My name's Sans. Sans Skelton. New in town. What's up? Ah, uh, friends. I just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Got anyone I should know better? Uh, my mom. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. She's great. Give me the sword of my chocolate kisses. Said she's got black. Said she's got to lock her door to stop you from eating. <laughs> Sound like a fun kid, huh? Hey, bud. You busy tomorrow? Need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. You live just next door, you know. Yeah? Well, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. You're a total stranger. You should probably hesitate. Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we gonna be doing? Uh, I'm not gonna be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you, my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with me. See ya. Uh, but the distant tussle of bones. Yeah.